Okay, my name is uh, Milan Bjelica. I come from RTRK Research Institute in Novi Sad, Serbia. Uh, I'm here presenting the paper that my team and myself were working on uh, in the previous couple of months. Uh, the goal of the paper is actually to provide the environment for ADIS algorithm development so that we abstract all the different platforms that can be used for for the algorithm development. Each of the chip provider provides a different SDK and these SDKs are something that are very hard to know to use. So we provide the, um, both the optimization framework and the abstraction framework so that uh, ADAS algorithms can be developed uh, in an abstract way. Uh, we abstract all the inputs that are really relevant for the automotive world, like sensors, cameras, ultrasonic lens sensors, um, different uh, powertrain controls, etc. And we also uh, abstract outputs so that the algorithm can be easily sent to the infotainment unit or to different output interfaces. So here we have a demonstration of the work uh, that has a car model with four cameras and four ultrasonic lens sensors. This is one algorithm that is called bird view. So you can see that uh, we have actually a 3D simulation that would be used in the real car augmented with the ultrasonic lens sensors layer. Uh, it is fully integrated with the, within the infotainment unit by the help with our SDK and it is also created with the uh, autom uh, ADAS SDK so that it can be migrated to different platforms. This demonstration was shown in the CS show as well uh, at Qualcomm's boot using the Qualcomm Snapdragon 828 chip. Hopefully with this uh, with this framework, we would allow the facilitation of uh, ADAS development for different targets and also helping different companies embark to the, way, to the road of, uh, of ADAS development and also ADAS plus infotainment integration. Thank you very much.